and welcome to Dave's NFL Picks 2013, week number 5. Well, in my excitement to post my vlog last week, I completely forgot about the Cardinals-Buccaneers game. Ironically, so did they. And so did millions of other Americans. Glad to know we didn't miss anything important. Speaking of important, I should mention that while I do know a lot about football, I'm really just throwing things up against a wall and seeing what sticks when it comes to picking winners. I know my friend Jim lost his house and his entire life savings based on my predictions. Not to worry, Jim. Think of the money you'll save by living in your car. Just tell Cheryl and the kids that you'll all be enjoying the RV lifestyle without the RV. I'm sure they'll love it. And now here are my picks for week five in the NFL season. Bills at Browns. If I had to choose between lethal injection, death by hanging, and watching this game, I choose injection and hanging by a country mile. Bills by three. Patriots at Bengals. The Discovery Channel took a lot of heat for a fake documentary during Shark Week that proclaimed the existence of Megalodon, a 60-foot monster that could eat a boat whole. Turns out it was just Vince Wilfork rehabbing his season-ending torn Achilles in a Boston pool. Bengals by five. Lions at Packers. This week, the Lions made Ndamukong Su a co-captain. That's like the captain of the Andrea Doria saying to a passenger, Hey, you want to take it for a spin? Packers by four. Seahawks at Colts. Wow, Andrew Luck is playing like Johnny Unitas. That explains his dead arm. Seattle by one. Ravens at Dolphins. Last week, the Dolphins came crashing down to earth after a humiliating loss to the Saints. Here are some other humiliating losers. General George Custer, Thomas Dewey, Michael Dukakis, and Susan Lucci from All My Children. Ravens by four. Saints at Bears. Last week, the real Jay Cutler was on display, throwing three interceptions in the Bears' loss to the Lions. It's nice to know that in this crazy, mixed-up world, some things never change. Thanks, Jay. Saints by six. Eagles at Giants. This week, in a battle of NFC least teams, one of them will have to win. Neither team is good at figuring that out yet, though. Giants by two. Chiefs at Titans. Chiefs quarterback Alex Smith is steady, methodical. He finds the right receiver in the right position and fires it in there. Christ, he could be a porn star. Chiefs by two. Jaguars at Rams. Last week, in the largest sting in history, the FBI charged the entire Jaguars team with fraud. Rams by 35. Panthers at Cardinals. You know, there are just some teams that should never play the game of football. Dino's Corn Wrestlers, the Vagina Guys, the Snot Monkeys, and, oh yeah, the Cardinals. Panthers by two. Broncos at Cowboys. Peyton Manning is a man among boys. Uh-oh. That's what Jerry Sandusky was. Broncos by 64. Chargers at Raiders. You know, I never thought I'd hear myself say this, but I kind of miss Carson Palmer. Oh, oh, no, no, not in a football way. Just in a vague, gay kind of way. Chargers by one. Texans at 49ers. Each of these teams has something to prove. Darwin's evolution theory for the Texans, and Jenna Jameson's how to shoot a ping pong ball out of your twat for the 49ers. I'm going with the 49ers. 49ers by four. And finally, Jets at Falcons. If you dig a hole 3,959 miles deep, you'll reach the center of the earth. Ironically, that's how far the Jets will sink this season. Falcons by two. Those are my picks for week five in the 2013 season. We'll see you next week.